words you wanna speak never say so It's like these bitches couldn't breathe to my face though What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donna Bradley back with y'all in another video. Today we've got UG Rap, Eye for an Eye, Daddy Fat Snaps, Jujutsu Kaisen. I know that, hold on, let me look, let me throw a like on here, because I had spoken to him and he had told me a little bit about, we had, I thought he had somebody else on it. Yeah, yeah, of course, Golden EMP, John Alden Okay, I knew about uh Golden and I think McGuire didn't know John, well, I think he told me, but yeah, yeah, so we got people, um, on 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 the hook we got he got the vocalists some of the vocalists of nerdcore um and we also got background vocals still the same three golden john old mcguire and obviously snaps and i i tune to joe i don't know who that is um golden ep written wrote the chorus composed by golden emp and snaps all right video reese all that good stuff third php on the uh the thumbnail also amazing um but yeah, um, he said that this track specifically really, really translates to him. I know that um, within the nerdcore space, you'll have uh, artists that they'll do. Well, it, just, it varies, like not just between artists, but just between each song, whichever how they want to do it. But um, <clears throat> like using yourself, like speaking through the character, but as yourself. But obviously, people that watch the anime can relate your lyrics to the character but that's one of the things i like about um anime because there's so many different ways to relate the music that you're hearing you know what i'm saying versus being like on on it's like it's just a regular rap you know what i'm saying nothing against regular rap you know what i mean just it is what it is um but you can always relate that to yourself mainly you know what i'm saying or maybe somebody you know obviously the person who's uh, say, uh making the track but um in this aspect you know you can relate it to the character you can relate it to um, the person behind the music. You know what I'm saying? You can relate it to yourself. And then you can relate it to potentially any other situation that maybe somebody you know, whatever, whatever. But um, about, I think he was talking about like losing. Yeah, he was talking about losing somebody. You know what I'm saying? I believe for him it was like a, a classmate uh, that he knew was hanging out with, sat next to each other, were really good friends. And then one day they uh, came to school one day. And the dude wasn't there. He ended up getting gunned down and things like that. So um, for this song, it, it, it penetrates more deeper into, to, wow, why'd I do that? You, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so I, I really want to listen to this uh, with a lens past the character um, uh, into what Snaps is saying. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there, social media. We didn't hear that any further. But don't. Three, two, one, click. Those we love never truly leave us. Right. Okay. Turn me a shade of blue. Sorry, I love that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? And depending on how this goes, I'm very sure that in aspects it's it can relate to to me i had a i had like i'm a, i'll probably talk about it throughout the track but yeah let's go there's somebody that i came up with that just ain't, 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 ain't here no more because there's a lot of movement in the lyrics i just want to make sure that my resolution ain't okay <laughs> He said tracks breed wolves. Hold up, bro. Flowers laid on empty tools. Lemons in the snow. Tracks breed wolves. Eyes were shot in the open cold. Condemn my soul. To wait with passion, then everyone around me turned to ashes. Imagine one day walking through the hallway of your classes, and you see the bodies piled up through the glass. You calling out their names, but you know they won't be an answer. Oh, hold on. So I thought he was talking about class, you know, Jujutsu High and, and things like that. But like, wait, because the the instance that he was speaking of on Twitter, and he yeah, let me know. You know, what I'm saying this this happened while I believe he was in high school. You know what I'm saying? So hold up, real quick, real quick, back it up. Then everyone around me turned to ashes. You know what I'm saying? Just being like, and the the, and just as far as the anime goes, obviously, um, Yuji losing Nanami, losing uh, I forget her name, but it's showing you right here. You know what I mean? So like people that you 
have around you that you think are gonna you know ride through this thing with you you know what i'm saying um that then go these 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 are the ones that are gonna stick around you know what i'm saying and then like they're just ripped from you you know what i mean imagine one day walking through the hallway of your classes and you see the bodies piled up through the glass you calling out the names but you know they won't be an ass you hyperventilating got you running for a breath but you can never seem to catch it mm, yo hold on this is rizzo i'm liking the way that this is depicted this is very deep you know what i'm saying um, and like I said, I'm looking through the lens of the character into what Snaps is saying, but I can all, like I said, I can keep translating this obviously to Yuji, how he's speaking. Um, but yeah, how like when Sukuna did all that stuff and killed all those people, mans couldn't even grab a breath, you know what I'm saying? And then when Nobara, I guess, right, Nobara, when she died, homie just kind of lost all will to fight, you know what I mean? Let's go. Not one of them can bring them back, so you just sit there gasping, and the air is getting thinner, like you breathing in a casket. Your mm. is off its axis. Mm. And the air, yo, yo, hold up. Okay, all right. I'm loving the passion in these words, and that was just, that was a, that was a nice bar. Let's go. Sit there gasping, and the air is getting thinner, like you breathing in a casket. Your world is off its axis. If you could look the devil in his eyes, what would you ask him? Or would you ask me? A life of living as a passenger, I'm in the backseat. The road ahead is full of massacre, we cruising back streets. We would fantasize the future, now I'm in a bad dream. Took for me, what could have been? We would fantasize the future, now I'm in a bad dream. Like, I like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the homie that I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? We would, <laughs> there was three of us. Um, and... We we would all we all rapped together as kids, you know what I'm saying? They had formed their group and I had got into it with them. Um and we was talking about how we were gonna come up rappers or being in the NBA or thing. We all had these dreams and, and one of us went crazy. Like dudes in Hollywood doing all kinds of crap. Um but uh the other ended up being taken away, you know what I'm saying, through like crazy unfortunate circumstances. So like yeah it it yeah this song is definitely one that hits a little different you know what I'm saying let's go let's go Cruising back streets we would fantasize the future now I'm in a bad dream took for me what could have been to turn them to a has been from tag to the toe tag to lose a tag team cuz everybody has a bit tag to a toe tag to lose the pro tag to lose a tag yo it's crazy because that those bars they like these bars they're so like they hard they go but like this it's hitting different not in the sense of like oh you know what I'm saying just in like like just like damn you know what I mean let's go let's go to a has been pro tag to the toe tag to lose a tag team because everybody has a vision to the black screen <sighs> I don't want to wake up I don't want to face the day I like the tracks beat rules part more more translation to it like each other like obviously if you watch the Jusu Kaisen you can take these words and face plant them to uh Yuji but like as far as like following snaps and I mean talk to him and like knowing like where this like where this track comes from for him like with the stuff that he also posted on Twitter you know what I'm saying you can you can look past that lens you know what I mean because the emotions that resonate from these things happening basically the senses of losing someone close you know what I'm saying uh like a friend somebody just came up you know what I mean just being that 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 a real person to you you know what I mean that real friend you know what I mean it's um I feel like there are a lot of people that could, like me included, like relate, you know what I'm saying, and feel feel these words past Yuji. You know what I mean? Let's go. I love this hook. I love this is on a this is on a playlist. Everything around me got dismantled. Ironic how when life can be the. 
wouldn't give me what I can handle than everything around. That might have, I feel like that was like a little, little, uh, Sukuna move. Dismantled that, all right, let's go. <laughs> Me what I couldn't handle, then everything around me got dismantled. Ironic how when life can be the thing that leaves you strangled, and the only breath you have inside your chest is for your candle when you blow it out. And so you hold your mouth, cause all the bullshit and you've been brewing. And the fight inside you, Brody, they don't know about. You thought the grass was greener over here, so I had to mow you down. Woo! Yo, bitch, do you know me now? Yo, uh, I like that. I like that, you know what I'm saying? More translation to usually just the get back. You know what I mean? Uh, but the way he said that, hold up, back it up. Grass is greener over here, so I thought the grass was green. Basically, he's saying you thought she was sweet. You know what I'm saying? You thought you was just going, this shit was just going to happen. You know what I mean? But you thought the grass was greener, so I had to mow you down. That was nice. Let's go. Had to mow you down. Mow grass. Little get bitch, it? do uh. you know me now? I ain't taking no shit. I pull the trigger until I don't have the clip to load it. All these thoughts inside my head. I pull the trigger till I don't have a clip to load in. <laughs> uh, yo, nice. I love this. It's nice, quotable lines, passionate lyricism, wonderfully executed bars. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to run that, but it's too try to what? Yo. And I can't kill all my regret, but I can hit a target. Kick, but I can't hit a target like the iPhone not to get back. Yo, I love that. All right, let's go. You try to run that, but it's too late. I'm a new crate, six feet with a bouquet. New day, new food chain. You flip, now you get a new face. Life put me to the brink, now you act so shocked that I'm new taste. I'm a fuck you, motherfucker. I ain't going nowhere. It's a new age. Mm. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this bad. All I know is better get up out my way. Out my way. Out my way. Out my way. Yes. Yes. That was dope. We listened to that dope sh here. I was feeling that. I was feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Lots of, I want to say lots of passion. I feel like the, the track was deep um, between McGuire, Jonald, EMP. Like every, all the vocalists. Everybody was doing vocals in here. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was outstanding. Love the mix on it. Um, all the different areas that the vocals were moving in. You know what I mean? Um, the way that it translated to Yuji. But also, like I said, past Yuji, like this, this was, this is definitely for me one of Snap's doper tracks. You know what I'm saying? Just for the 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 depth, and also obviously the musical aspect of it was on point. But yeah, this was this was one of them, man. That's the take. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media, and I catch y'all next one, fam. Peace. Peace.